In today's video, I'm gonna show you not five, not 10, but 12 amazing video editing apps for 2019. Now, some of these apps are going to be free, some of them are going to be paid, and I'll let you know which operating system they're available for by putting a little icon in the bottom corner so you know if they're available for Android or iOS or both. Now, there are a lot of apps listed in this video, and I guarantee you one of them is gonna take care of whatever it is you're trying to do with your mobile device. Now, at the end of this video, what I want you to do is go down, leave a comment below, and let me know which one of these apps you want me to make full tutorial on. When this video is over, I'm gonna go down there and see what you have to say about these apps, and I'm gonna look for the comments that have the most likes and then make videos out of those. So if you see somebody that you agree with, make sure to give them a thumbs up and leave your own comment. Now these apps are not listed in any order of importance, so the first app isn't necessarily the best app and the last app isn't necessarily the worst app, but we are gonna move through these really quickly. This is gonna be a rapid fire app list, and having said all of that, let's move to the first app, which is LumaFusion. Now LumaFusion is an incredibly powerful multi-track video editing app. It's used by filmmakers, it's used by mobile journalists, it has awesome audio controls. You can do chroma key or green screen and it has really powerful color correction tools. And you can also add layer effects and colors and actually add LUTs to it. So if you're working with LUT packs, LumaFusion can work with those too on your mobile device. It also supports speed control and works with 120 and 240 frames per second. Next up on the list is Kinemaster, not pronounced Kindmaster, contrary to what you may have heard elsewhere on the internet. Kinemaster Kinemaster is a very powerful multi-layered video editing app. Kinemaster has speed controls allowing you to speed up or slow down your footage. You can choose the ratio that you wanna work with. So if you wanna work with vertical video or even a square video, you can do that with Kinemaster. It also offers chroma key or green screen capabilities. It has color control, saturation, brightness, and pretty much everything you want in a video editing app. You can also download additional music and fonts from their asset store, and they've got some really great transitions in there too. Now Kinemaster is a subscription-based service, which means you pay every month but in my opinion, it is totally worth it if you want a professional grade video editing app on your phone. Now, if you don't wanna pay for Kinemaster, that's fine too, because if you're on Android, they allow you to legally remove the watermark. And I'm gonna put a link to a video that I made right there showing you how to do that. Next up is Filmora Go. And you might've heard about Filmora Go. They're owned by a company called Wondershare. And they also make another app called Vlogit that we're gonna talk about a little later on this list. Filmora Go is a really easy to figure out app. You know, a lot of these video editing apps are kind of complicated and it takes a while to figure them out. Filmora more Go is really intuitive. It's easy, it's powerful. You can do pretty much whatever you want on it. And it also comes with built-in effects and built-in music. Some of the key features that I like with Filmora Go, you can do picture in picture, which is when you can take a picture like this and add another picture. This is great if you're doing reaction videos or something like that. It also has color controls. And like I said, it has some great effects. It also has fully functional text and title control, which is really important if you're putting text on top of your video. And you can also add overlays and filters on top of your video. This is a great app. Next up on the list is Affinity Video. Affinity Video is a pretty easy app to figure out. It has speed control so you can speed up or slow down your footage. It has a ton of stickers. It has a lot of filters. You can add music. It doesn't have built-in music that I'm aware of, but if you already had music tracks, if you use something like Epidemic Sound or the YouTube Music Library, you can put your tracks in there using Affinity Video. This is another great app to use regardless of what platform you're actually uploading your content to. This works with Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and most of your favorite social media platforms. It's really easy to edit with this app. App. It's not too complex and it's easy to figure out. So if you're just getting started, this might be another app that you might wanna look into. Moving right along on this app list, that brings us to Quick. Quick is made by GoPro and I know you've heard of GoPro. Now this is a really simple free app to use and you can do two things with it. One, you can edit your own video. It allows you to easily do that. Or number two, you can upload your videos and it will actually mix your videos up and make its own video out of your content. And that's really cool to see what it will come up with. You can add your photos, you can add your videos and it will mix them all up and put them all together to its own music with its own soundtrack. And that's a really cool feature. Keep in mind, this was made by GoPro. So if you're doing something like action sports or something that needs a lot of fast cuts, this is gonna work out really well for you if you don't wanna do the editing yourself. Next up is Enlight Video Leap. And this is a very creative and very powerful app. You can do really cool things like take your video, put images on top of it and do double exposure and blend them all together and do really creative stuff with it. Video Leap has green screen, it has key framing, it has a ton of special effects. It has overlays, you can build things up in layers. Look, this is a really, really powerful and very creative app. So if you wanna push the limits and see exactly how creative you can get with video in your phone, check this app out. Now I do wanna mention that not all the apps on this list is free. However, if you are looking for free apps only, I'm gonna put a link to a video that I made right there that's gonna give you some of the best totally free apps. So make sure to check that video out if free apps are what you're looking for. Next up on the list is InShot. Now InShot is a really easy 
easy to use and fun app. It's really good for both YouTube and social media platforms like Instagram. It allows you to work in squares or in normal video ratio, which is 16 by nine. It's not a complex editor, but it does get the job done. It allows you to trim your video or cut parts out of the middle. You can add music, you can add text. This is also great for memes. And if you do voiceovers, this is also really good for voiceovers. It works well for that. And as you can imagine, because it works well making Instagram content, InShot comes with a ton of video filters. Next up is Vlogit, made by Filmora, who's made by Wondershare that we mentioned a little bit before. Now Vlogit is a really cool app. It's totally free, there's no watermark, there's no limits, there's no anything. It's a little bit simple to use, but it gets the job done if you're just getting started. Vlogit might be the app for you. It's perfect for YouTubers and it's perfect for vloggers, hence the name. Vlog it. Vlog it is also really cool for other social media platforms. It allows you to put some really good looking stickers on your video if you're trying to put something up on Instagram or TikTok or one of those types of platforms. And if you're using it for YouTube, it also has a thumbnail maker, which is also really cool. So it's a video editor and it's a thumbnail maker built into one app. And you can use Vlog it for voiceovers and you can add music to your videos. It's really easy to use. And again, if you're just getting started and you're not really sure where to go with all of this or you're on a budget, I would check out Vlog it. And that moves us right along to Adobe Rush CC, and that was released last year, and this is a crazy powerful app. This is a monthly subscription app, but you can do a lot of stuff with it. I think out of all the apps I'm talking about today, this is probably the most intuitive app. It also has a camera built in, so you can actually shoot your video with their camera. It has a multi-track timeline. You can build things up in layers. It has awesome text and lower thirds already built into it. All you have to do is change out the text on it, and the lower third can pop up. It's all animated. Adobe Rush CC is a really powerful app, and I'm actually looking forward to see how this app evolves evolves over time. It was just released last year, as I said, and it does have some room for improvement, but I have high hopes for this app. And I almost forgot, it also allows you to change the ratio. So if you're working with vertical video or even square video, Adobe Rush CC can do that. It also has awesome audio effects. You can EQ your voice, you can do voiceovers, and you can sync everything up in the Adobe Cloud. So if you wanna transfer something from your phone Rush to the desktop version of Rush, you can do that. When Adobe Rush CC first came out, I made a video about it, giving you a basic walkthrough of the app. And I'm gonna put a link to that video right there. And that brings us right along to the next app, which is Video Shop. Now, Video Shop is a really cool app. It's really powerful. You can do stop motion with it, and that's something that you can't do with a lot of these other apps. It has voiceover controls. It has great effects. It has sound effects. It has slow motions. You can speed up or slow down your video footage. It has animated titles, and that means that your text is gonna be animated when it comes up on the screen. It has tons of filters. It has tilt shift, so you can choose where your focal point is and make your video look really unique. It allows you to rotate your videos. You can put your video in reverse. This is an Another app that's really powerful for apps like Instagram or Snapchat. Next up is Video Show, not to be confused with Video Shop. This is a totally different app and this is also a really powerful app. With Video Show, there are no limits to how long your video clips can be and it has a huge music library, I think over 100 tunes or something like that, that you can use in your videos. Video Show has a lot of stickers, it has a lot of effects. Again, this is one of those apps that works really well on social media platforms like Instagram or Snapchat or even TikTok. It allows you to make animated GIFs out of your videos so you can export that out and put those gifts somewhere else. You can doodle on top of your videos. Look, this is a really fun app. Next up on the list is Power Director. Now, Power Director is a very powerful app. It's a multi-track editing app, which means you can build things up in layers. You can reverse your footage. It has slow motion. You can fast forward. It has chroma key. This is a very powerful app. It has awesome transitions, great filters. You can change the background. You can do a lot of things with this app. I personally don't think this is the most intuitive app. However, it is incredibly powerful. It's actually one of the most powerful apps in this list. So if you want professional grade video editing, check out PowerDirector. If you wanna learn how to make content with your phone or be a mobile YouTuber or just get more app lists like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.